What's up, guys? Just wanted to show you uh, my little creation here that I made. It's called a uh, fermented apple chutney. I made it once before, uh, probably two or three years ago, and it turned it out. It turned out fantastic. I uh, wasn't too sure about this one until I got all the spices and everything mixed in. And uh, oh, I wish there was smell of vision on. <laughs> wish we had that tech. Because this smells just absolutely amazing. And I'll put a link to the. Uh, recipe but I didn't really go by I don't know whenever I do whenever I make creations I don't really go by any recipes I just go by uh, intuition and um, just by taste I mean I do things to taste um, with spices and salt and whatever kind of flavor I want um, it's, it's kind of like an art form, like anyone will tell you who, uh, loves cooking or just being in the kitchen or creating things. Um, it, it, it's also very meditative. And I mean, like, it took me a lot longer to make this than I thought a lot longer just because I had to cut up, um, all the apples and uh, yeah it got to a point where I was like I just want to be done but it's it's a meditation though as well so you can enjoy the process or dread it it's <laughs> it's your choice So, if I can remember everything that's in here, probably not, so I'll have to go back and write it down. Um, a shit ton of apples, some organic apples, organic apricots, and then a nut and seed blend. Um, a whole bunch of organic sunflowers, uh, walnuts. And there was also just a mix of, of different kinds of nuts, pecans, pistachios, uh, what else? I think there were some almonds in there. Uh, there was also um, raisins, I believe, and then some goji berries. And then for the spices, um, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, are the three like main ones and then you can add like with the recipe I'll give it, it gives other suggestions like allspice or cardamom I didn't use those though and I had some um, like coconut aminos for the salt so like like a living salt and then also a little bit of Himalayan salt and a little bit of turmeric, a little bit of ginger, and what else? I like to sneak a little bit of things in there um, that are like super healthy because um, I I know like people won't be able to taste it, like the bitter herbs, like the the true medicinal herbs. So there's a little bit of white willow bark in there. It's a little bit of cat's claw. And, and then the ferments, um, I had a lot of different cultures that I put in there, um, from various sources. So there's uh, several different strains. So this is just, hopefully I'll let it sit for a few days and it'll be ready by Thursday. We'll see how it turns out. It smells pretty epic.
And then you also want to add water. Um, I found some, uh, it said maple water, and it didn't say anything else on the bottle, like uh, what, what the real ingredients are, or like if it was a uh, you know, watered down maple uh, sap, or like tree sap, which I'm assuming that's what it was because it had maple uh, tree leaves on the bottle, but it didn't say anything about like uh, anything about sap. I'm assuming that's what it was. I tasted a little bit of that and it was, it tasted really good as well. So basically I'm going to uh, put something in here to kind of uh, make the liquid rise up a little bit because you don't, you run the risk of uh, certain bacteria is getting in and attaching on um, if you leave things exposed. Um, it should be fine though, just like this. But I always, I always just like to make the liquid uh, rise up a little bit and then something loose on top to let it breathe. You gotta let it breathe. So that's gonna be awesome. And then also, um, I wanted to recommend uh, for people's Thanksgiving dinners or just any time you have a get together or something and you eat a whole bunch of food like sneak these ferments in and like uh, that's gonna help digest everything a lot better so this is just like a, a powerhouse of it's gonna be a lot of medicinal stuff in there uh, there's organic honey there's a little bit of uh, barley malt uh, there's just a lot of a lot of really super healthy stuff, and that's also going to be awesome to uh, dive into because I'm going to be off my fast Thursday, so that's going to be one of the first things that I'm reintroducing in my system. Then also, uh, this is my first bottle of gin, so I wanted to share that as well. Citadel, I finally chose this one. Uh, for one, it wasn't insanely expensive. Then also just uh, a lot of the things that I read on here. It's got like all the uh, botanicals like, around listed. So that was really cool. I don't think any other bottle I found had that. It says it's a uh, naked flame distillation. And I think it does say that's in the copper. Just read a little bit. We are a premier crew cognac producer and we love gin. Our years of research in dusty 18th century archives brought to light the first patented French. I, I can't pronounce that. Genevre. <laughs> Genevre. I don't know in its original recipe. Forgotten for hundreds of years, it was established in 1775 in the citadel of Dunkirk. By decree of King Louis the, the something and earned the royal seal. Citadel owes its signature taste to its ancestors' method of slow distillation in small copper pot stills over a naked flame different from the steam distillation used by most gins today. Citadel gin is slowly infused with 18 sun-dried botanicals used to enrich the crisp taste of juniper berries, making it a historical classic gin. Acclaimed spirits critic E. Paul Cacult wrote, Citadel is what gin was meant to be. It's won more than 60 medals, including gin, best gin in the world, gin grandmaster, blah blah blah. And then, uh, so yeah, it says 18 sun-dried botanicals, but then it says uh, 19 botanicals that it lists around the outside, so I'll read those off. Almond, iris root, which I'm familiar with, I don't know all that much about iris root. Juniper, fennel, anise, paradise green, 
orange peel, cardamom, violet, lemon peel, coriander, cubeb, C-U-B-E-B. -E -B. I have no idea what that is. I have to look that, look that up. Cassia, licorice, savory, nutmeg, angelica, cumin, cinnamon. So yeah, this is this is a shout out to the genie, Mayan Jin, and uh, Zen Atman, because uh, I haven't tried all that much, uh, all that many kinds of gin. Um, the the ones that I have tried were probably the cheaper kinds, and I I, I did not enjoy it whatsoever. So. Uh, Zen kind of reminded me that uh, to get into it, like treat it like medicine, like uh, use it just a little bit at a time, like here and then just to clean out the body. And I'm still on my fast, and this is the first time with my fast that I've uh, tried different. Um, the past couple nights, I did a little bit of Jägermeister, and that's because. I did a little bit of research about Jägermeister and the history of it and how many botanicals it has. And I really enjoy the taste of it. Um, also, uh, my cat uh, really enjoyed the smell of it, which I don't know if there's any alcohol, especially a hard one like that, a, a liqueur that, that she's ever... Uh, smelled like that so that kind of tells me that uh, if my pet uh, likes it then it's probably something that's good for this body as well so the first night that I did uh, the Jägermeister I had a meditation right afterwards and it was very powerful. It's very intense meditation. It was good stuff. So yeah, uh, I'm going to try this as a uh, taking it as a cleansing agent, not to necessarily get a buzz off of or get drunk off of or anything, but using it as medicine. Very uh, crisp and clean. Very clean. Yeah, and I'm not a gin connoisseur, so I'm not going to be able to really give a good review or anything like that. I just wanted to share these things and what I got. Yeah, that's a nice complexity. That's, I mean, <laughs> I can easily say that's the best gin I've ever had because I haven't had all that many gins. But so I'd be interested to hear if anyone else has tried other kinds of gin and like high quality or, or have tried this one, what they think. That's pretty enjoyable. Yeah. I I can say this is the first gin that I've that I've tried that I enjoy. Good shit. Very enjoyable. So yeah, I just wanted to share those things. And uh, peace.